Nice playing. Thank you. Sam Burns, three under 67. Sam, four shots better than yesterday, although the course is playing a little harder. What was working well for you? I think uh, for me today, just drove it a little bit better. Uh, hit my irons a little better. I think I did everything a little, a little better. Um, but honestly, just you know, trying to manage when we got it out of position and get it back in the right spots. Um, you know, unfortunately, just kind of a couple of bad shots on 10, but you know, it was nice to be able to get a, those back coming down the stretch. Um, what do you think about the course conditions today, and what should the guys in the afternoon expect? I think uh, the golf course has been fantastic. Um, the setup's been great. I think um, it's it's tough, but it's fair. You know, you, you get rewarded when you hit good shots, and when you get out of position, it's really difficult. And I think that's how the U.S. Open should be. Um, but yeah, I mean, with the with the wind and the and the sunshine that we have, the greens should continue to firm up and get faster. And it's going to be a, a, a tough afternoon and a tough weekend. Can you talk a little bit about the atmosphere out there with the fans? And then do you like playing in front of this kind of crowd? Yeah, it's awesome. Uh, you know, this area loves sports. Uh, it loves golf. I, I think they're excited to have us here. Uh, it, you can tell just by the energy out there. Um, so, yeah, it's been a blast the first couple of days, and I'm, uh, I'm really looking forward to this weekend. Can you talk about the front nine versus the back nine? You had one, two, three, four, four birdies on the front. Um, is it a lot more gettable? Um, you know, the birdie I made on two, that's a pretty difficult hole. I just happened to hit a really good shot in there. Um, I think the back nine maybe maybe plays a, a little bit easier. I, I don't know that to be true, um, just kind of my first thought. But, you know, getting number eight straight down win, having a mid iron in there is, you know, obviously really nice. But, yeah, I think, uh, you know, there's not really a, a lot of let up holes out here. You kind of have to be, you know, really focused and dialed in on every shot. Finishing early on a Friday, what will be your kind of schedule the rest of the day? Go grab a little lunch and practice a bit. Um, then go get off my feet, maybe get a little nap in um, if my wife lets me. So we'll see. Any questions for Sam? All right, thanks so much for your time. Thank you. Oh, there you go. Uh, you and Scotty right now have the rounds of the day. Each shot three under. What does that do for team morale in the house? I'm a little upset he's beat me by one. Um, but yeah, you know, it's. You know, it's, it's cool to see him playing well. Um, I mean, obviously, he's had a fantastic year, and it's kind of motivated me to try to play a little bit better and try to keep up with him. So, yeah, it'll be a, uh, just a chill afternoon, and hopefully we uh, have a good weekend. Are there any parts of his game that you pick his brain about and vice versa? Yeah, I think, uh, I mean, he's obviously really good at everything, but um, a little bit around the greens, I think, you know, trying to learn how he hits different shots and, you know, kind of how he approaches those shots. Um, I've, I've tried to learn from him on those. Cool. And anything around these greens specifically, like this week, that's different than a typical PGA Tour setup? Yeah, I mean, there's just a ton of slope in these greens, you know, old style, back to front. So, you know, most of the time, if you are hole high or past the hole, you're going to have a difficult chip. And so, you know, trying to leave it in the correct spots around the greens, give yourself an uphill look. Um, just a little more to think about. I guess, out here. We'll go to Ben on the right. Uh, sorry to ask you another Scheffler question, but now that he's a Masters champion, have you seen any difference in him now that he's the hunted instead of the hunter, you know? No, he's just the same old guy. <laughs> um, no. We'll go here to Stephanie. Uh, it seems like in some ways a like an ideal U.S. Open and that the leaderboard is some major winners and some guys who found out like Friday they were going to be here. Are there guys on the leaderboard you hadn't even heard of or weren't even familiar with? Uh, to be honest, I haven't really looked at the leaderboard. Okay. Um, you know, I think anyone who tees it up this week is capable of winning this golf tournament. Um, you know, the guys that qualify through sectionals obviously played really well to get in here, and they're and they're really quality players. And you know, that's that's the reason they're here. It's just you know, it's our national championship, and anybody can win. Thanks. We'll go to Luke here on the left too. Uh, when you do hit a like a shot that you didn't want to and you've left yourself out of position, do you have to fight the instinct to like not be too aggressive on the next shot and just play safely, or what's that process like? I think it's uh, you know for me just having an understanding of you know what the whole average would probably play from that sp that position, and so you know if I hit it in a certain spot and know that you know this is already a tough hole, there's going to be a lot of bogeys made on this hole, you know I may just lay it up in the fairway and give myself a look for par. Um, yeah, I think it's different situations. Thanks for your time, Sam. Thank you.